So what's really standing out as sort of, is there any sort of trend or, or you know, main theme that we're going to see across the networks? I mean, it's always risky to talk about themes because, I mean, the, these things rarely stick. I mean, in, with these new shows, there's about an 80% failure rate. So even if you see things that are happening, I mean, for example, the hit show, hit comedy, Modern Family, has inspired some some comedies of the sort of the the mixed right. the mixed family zany antics kind of variety um, you'll see some shows like that coming up but you know the, the thing is that you're probably not going to get too attached to some of these shows because a lot of them are going to get get axed. yeah they seem to cancel them pretty quickly yeah. but let's take a look at some of the ones that are gaining some buzz I guess Nashville yeah. is uh, one on the yeah, top I of mean, the list. Yeah I mean that was one that definitely caught my eye um, it's uh, Connie Britton of Friday Night Lights fame um, and she is a sort of aging singer in Nashville a country singer uh, who has a a young rival who's kind of biting at her heels. So it's this kind of music industry drama back behind the scenes, um, and there's also a political aspect too, because her father is a, a powerful politician in the area too. So it, it has okay. some kind of reminiscence of Smash. If anyone here on the, uh, is watching that, okay. Um, and we got to have a, actually a clip of it right now. We're going to see a little bit of that show, Nashville. But when you're on top, one idea is for you to co-headline with Juliet Barnes. Co-headline? She's the number one crossover artist in the country. Who goes on first? You have to fight to stay there. Be nice. Oh, so trying to pick nice. up on the success of a lot of these music shows, I guess. Yeah, which could be tough though, because you know you're trying to do a lot of different things in one drama. It's a lot, of, you know, a lot of things to juggle for sure. All right, and Last Resort, I guess, is another one that's getting a lot of buzz. Yeah, that's another ABC uh, show, and that the, the premise there um, is there's this U.S. nuclear sub that is kind of has to go rogue because it's given an order to fire on Pakistan, and the uh, the captain disobeys the order. They essentially go on the run and then sort of start over on this tropical island so it's got this kind of global intrigue to it a um, bit of lost thrown in there a maybe. little bit of that yeah <laughs> um, but the, the uh, you know the pilot looked really good the question is whether they'll be able to sustain, kind of sustain this international scope and this sort of big budget look and feel to it uh, week by week that comes from the creator of the shield so um, there's some pedigree there involved Okay, and Vegas, I know, is another one. There have been a lot of shows that have sort of tried to be set in Vegas. Uh, any sense that this one will really gain some traction? Yeah, I mean, the, the, the tricky thing is here, it's, it's uh, you know, the story is very familiar. You know, gangsters coming into Vegas to try and make their money. You know, the, the, the city just getting off its, uh, getting a start. It's set in 1960. Um, but you have Michael Chiklis and Dennis Quaid as sort of the, the good and bad guy there position. So, great cast, sort of an interesting look, kind of has a gritty, almost sort of cable, pay cable look to it. Right. Right. Um, and again, whether they can sort of sustain that interest, whether people people might feel like they know that story. Um, I've from, seen it before, from shows right? Like Casino.